The Luco 15 liter 12 volt fridge can be used AC or DC. I had a comment, will it freeze? Will it keep stuff frozen? Well, I just cut it on to see how long it takes to get down to uh, set it for 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 2 p.m. We'll see how long it takes to get to that temperature. And I'll put some frozen things in there to see how it actually really does. The manual says that it'll go down to minus four degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm sure anyone using this probably won't need it to go down that low. Like I said, I've got it set for 20 degrees. It's sitting at 66. I've got it on max right now. It has an eco mode, but I've got it on max. All right, it is now 2.20 p.m. and it already reached the temperature and then it's starting to rise back up because the compressor already cut off. I wasn't paying attention and uh, having to look over and it was already at temp. So the compressor's already cut off. It reached 20 degrees, the compressor cut off and now it's going back up a little bit and it should cut back on at 25 degrees. And as that's reaching back up to temperature to cut back on, let's open it up and see what the temperature reads with my digital thermometer. I put a regular thermometer in there just a while ago. It's probably not down to temp yet because I just stuck it in there. So it's showing around 29, 27, around the sides there. The bottom is 30, 32. Let's close this thing back up. And I'm gonna go grab some frozen items to put in there and we'll see how this thing works. Well, it was about 1 p.m. the next day. We started it around uh, 2 p.m. yesterday. It's been almost 24 hours. You see it's setting at 19 degrees Fahrenheit. I had set it at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And when it reaches 25 degrees, it cuts back on and goes back down. I want to check it inside and see what the temperature is inside and everything. I put some things in there yesterday. I wanted to see how everything goes. There's a the temperature reading there. It's showing 19 degrees just like it says on the thing. Not bad. Everything is really solid still. Frozen. 20 degrees seems to be a pretty good temperature to set it at. If you're putting stuff that's already frozen in there, if you're going to be freezing things, I would turn it all the way down as far as it'll go until stuff is frozen and then turn it back up to about 20 degrees. That looks pretty good. I did notice after a few hours, I wanted to check, I put a bottle of water in here just to check if it was frozen. And it's, it hadn't frozen all the way. And I put it up here on top of the uh, pot pie there just so the air around it would freeze it. And that done the trick, it froze. Just to mention, fridge freezers like these, the 12 volts, most of the cooling happens around the side. I don't know if you can see it or not, but little ice is starting to build right there on the sides. Most of your cooling is around the sides. It's a lot colder on the sides. Works really, really good. And it's almost been 24 hours. Like I said, it's about one o'clock or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this thing down as far as it'll go, and I'll come back at the uh, 24 hour mark. We'll turn this thing all the way down as far as it'll go, and then we'll check the temperature. Well, let me go ahead and do that now. It's been open for a little bit, so it's probably not gonna be accurate, but we'll double check. 35, read some of the food. 30, top of the burritos, 27, 28, side of the wall, 29. The very bottom, 29, 30, sides, 29, not bad at all. Works really good. And like I said before, I have it in max mode, but if you put it in eco mode, the compressor's a little bit quieter. It's not that loud at all anyway. So we'll get this thing turned down all the way. And it, this particular model, it's in lock mode. So all you gotta do is hold those two arrows and then the lock goes away and then you can set it. And we're going to turn it all the way down. 
So we've got that set to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. We got it on max. You can see it's at 23 right now. And you can hear the compressor, you can hear me talking. And it's actually really, really quiet down here in the man cave. And you can hear that, let me be quiet. And you can hear the compressor. I'm gonna see how long it takes to go from 23 to negative four. And when we come back, I'll put it in eco mode as well. So you can hear the difference in the sound of the compressor from uh, max mode and eco mode. Or if you want to, you can go right here. I'll post a link to an earlier video first trying this out. I've got a part one and part two. You can check those out. And we are back. It has been exactly one hour since I turned this down to negative four degrees. And you can see it's negative three degrees in there. Let's get this opened up and take some temperature readings. The gun here. 15 degrees, 21 degrees on the side, 10 degrees, 17 degrees. And as you can see, everything is really good and frozen. Not too bad. And as you can hear, it just kicked in. Got the lid open. And it's super, super quiet. You can hear every little noise and sound. I'm gonna put it on eco mode. Show you guys what it sounds like in eco mode. Just put it in eco mode. Well, I thought it'd be a little bit more audible in eco mode. It'd be a less, uh, not as loud, but it sounds the same to me. Maybe it goes, as it gets closer to the, uh, the temperature you set it at, it, it goes down. But if I remember correctly in one of the first videos I did, and like I said, I'll leave the link over here on the, on this side over here somewhere. You guys can check out the video. You can hear it in the video when it kicked in, uh, eco mode maybe that's just when you have it plugged into the dc 12 volt the eco mode is more efficient and it gears down a little bit i'm not sure but i do have it plugged into the ac outlet over here and i'm not hearing it bogged down really any let me know if you guys hear any difference before i put it in eco mode and after i put it in eco mode maybe you can hear it we'll hear it afterwards i can hear it in maybe uh post production here of the video but what I want to do real quick, while it's running, I want to get some readings around where the compressor area is and around the vents so you guys can see how hot the compressor area gets. And like I said, this model obviously has the compressor on the bottom, and most of the uh, fridge freezers that you see now, the 12 volts, have the compressor on the side, and the cooler part is on the opposite side of the compressor. I don't know if that plays a part in more efficient but this one has been pretty efficient that i've noticed so far let's let's go ahead and look 70s 75 lcd screen 79 80 right there below the lcd screen let's come over here to the side let's see what we got over here on the side 78 81 and the ambient temperature down here in the man cave is around uh, 69, 70, so 73 back there. Back here on the back, 73. So it's the hottest right there at the LCD screen, 77, and right below it. That's not too bad. Seven degrees above the ambient temperature. Well, like I said, we'll do some more tests on this here and there, but I wanted to show the freezing function of this, of getting this down to uh, store frozen items in there. It works great. And just a quick note on the, uh, the first couple videos where I was testing this out with the DC 12 volt function, I was using the Bouge RV Flash 300 on the DC port here. And the refrigerator was so efficient that the Bouge RV kicked off and, and, and cut off. And I asked the manufacturer if there was a way to keep it on so it would continuously be able to cut on and off when it needed to, the refrigerator that is. 
and they told me that in the uh, in the DC function, I think even in the AC function as well, if something doesn't draw at least one watt within an hour, the Bouge RV will cut off, rather. So that's pretty good. So all I have to do is I've got some more ports right here that I can plug one of these in, and I can plug something in there that at least uses one watt, and that will be sufficient enough to keep this on so the refrigerator will not be off when you wake up the next day. But another solution to that is to buy a solar generator that uh, will stay on. The Bouvage RV is really nice. It can charge really fast. Good complement to the uh, Luco 12 volt fridge, 15 liter. Oh yeah, I meant to show the temperature from the gauge here. And you can see it's right there at zero. Well, to sum it up, the Luco 12 volt, 15 liter fridge slash freezer works awesome as a fridge. Works great as a freezer. Been testing it for about almost two weeks now and had it on solid for about a week here in the man cave with some waters and beverages in there and it's running good. Getting ready to use this on a trip here in a couple weeks. We're going to the beach. So we're going to try it out in the vehicle. See how it keeps stuff cold from plugging it in in the vehicle and then unplugging it and taking it in to where we will be staying. And then we'll throw it around some camping trips as well. That is going to do it for this video. I will leave the link down below in the description for the Luco 12 volt fridge slash freezer and the Bouge RV Flash 300. If you're curious to check out the specs and check them out yourself and read about them and look at it. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.